How's the hand? Good? How's the hand, Drake? Yeah, it's doing well. Um, you know, same thing had a bandage on in practice, and uh, I got a little um, tape over it, and I felt like I was throwing it pretty good. So uh, it's nothing. Just a little, just a little cut. Nothing. Anything to worry news about. So go good out there, practice. So that's all that matters. We'll decide this news, Drake. <laughs> Uh, I think I felt like nationally your performance against Pitt kind of blew up a little bit with a lot of national people talking about it, your game, your performance, how good you've been this year. Uh, have you seen kind of the, uh, more hype around you as a, as a, a you know, potential high candidate, national award winner? Are you feeling that? you see that stuff? Uh, no, so I think just, um, I think overall I think it's more um, about the program in general. Um, I think we're kind of making some noise. I think. Um, starting this, you know, last leg of the season off with a, you know, big home winning at, at Pitt. Um, I think coming off the bye, um, I think you know, we haven't been good off byes recently um, over the years. So uh, it's just a big win for the program. I think um, you know, that kind of comes with it. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to play, um, play pretty well. Um, so that just uh, kind of boosted it a little bit. But uh, at the same time, you know, a lot of other people in the game play well. So just, yeah, we love the modesty. I mean, but you realize, like, how, how this kind of special season you're putting together, number one in the nation in, in passing, well, number in, in total offense and total touchdowns. Like you're aware of that, right? And like kind of how, yeah, how special yeah. this season is. Yeah, I think it just it comes with the offense. So, you know, I'm, I mean, I kind of you know picture um, that's just you know things go well throughout the season. Um, that we're, we have, we have the guys to do it. I just have to do my part, and I'm um, just trying to do my part out there and extend and plays when I need to. But most of the time, I'm just uh, you know, on the first or second look. So it's. Uh, uh, you know, credit to get to, to the guys around me. Um, you know, they, they, they're just as big as roles I am. I'm not sure this is the, <clears throat> the right way to phrase it, but is it easier for you to be totally tunnel visioned on the next task at hand in the team? Because there is so much out there that they're asking about. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's um, obviously it's a little difficult uh, just, you know, dealing with a lot of noise and all the media. Um, Jeremy's constantly texting me. Uh, but uh, other than that, um, I think, you know, I think we're, you know, we're seven and one. Um, you know, we got some things that we uh, still want to accomplish this season. So that's what we're mainly focused on: just winning games and uh, you know, putting our uh, our best effort, um, our best foot forward each week. And uh, you know, we got getting that UVA. You know, it's going to be a tough one over there. We, I think last time we were over there, we lost um, in, a, in a close one. Um, and I think Sam played pretty well that game. Um, they had a huge second half. I remember they came back. So uh, yeah, we got we got we own one. Um, but they know they got a great team. They're physical. They lost some close games and uh, they kept it close. Some good teams, so we had to come ready. One more question on some of that stuff. Is there an interview that you've done in the last couple of weeks? You're like, hey, that's pretty cool that I did an interview with either that network or that writer or journalist? Um, hmm. Probably. I'm not thought, you know, the interview. Adam Smith? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with y'all every, every week. Uh, no, I thought, um, you know, the interview with, uh, I think it was maybe week three or four with Matt Liner and we were going through some plays. I thought yeah. that was pretty cool just, you know, with his history and the type of player he was. Um, so, other than that, um, most of the guys, I'm just first meeting them or uh, something like that. So. That is cool with Liner. What, so, the throws on the run, uh, I don't know, I mean, some of those have seemed pretty amazing to me. I mean, the throw to win the Duke game, the throw to Caleb Hood at the end of the first half at Duke, and the throws the other night. Is, do you practice those? Do you like when you're in practice or when you have your own time, are you out there like on a full sprint throwing at a target or throwing it to somebody? Like, how do you do you work on those? Is that just something happening? Yeah, it's something. I mean, um, you know, I mean, the cues, I you know, we drill, um, but it's after practice or coach longer. Usually we have, we drill at least, you know, once or twice a week during the practice. Um, so he always gets mad because he wants his full sprint, which makes it realistic. And also, um, you know, we'll be in 7 on 7 and stuff, you know, it's not open. Um, he tells us to scramble out. We call it, you know, kind of scramble drill. Um, just have guys come back to me. Or um, you know to the sideline. Um, yeah, uh, and some good ones also. You know, I dirty one to Josh. You know, in the pit game, and also um, that first session coming out of the half, uh, I had Kamar on the sideline, pretty easy one. So um, you know, some of the, some of the, the better ones are, are kind of highlighted ones, but also I had some ones that you know on the run that uh, you know, I wish I had back. But uh, it's something you know I take pride in. Um, you know, extending plays and I feel like it's a big part of my game. So uh, when something breaks down or uh, you know a little pressure, just uh, I think it helps. Um, just you know, keep things flowing and you know, do something with my legs or try to keep my eyes on the field. How, how, why does, how does Longo get mad at you? Like on those. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, he thinks we're in like um, either not getting, you know, our, our hips turned or our shoulder turned and 
kind of going through the motions. Okay, it's usually one of the first few drills we do in practice. Um, so we're out there. Um, it's like, yeah, it's like 8 a.m. So we gotta, you know, warm up, make sure we stretch good. Cause right. um, he, he kind of says uh, he does it where like he stands, uh, kind of like at the defensive end spot, and he just rushed up the field. If he touches us, um, he says that we have to go back and do it again. So that's that's the main part. How, how much does your basketball history help you when you're throwing on the run? Just because so much of basketball is done moving laterally and that kind of thing. Yeah, I think um, obviously passing in basketball. Um, you know, growing up, I used to always jump, uh, do the jump passes, um, and a lot of coaches get on because sometimes end up in a turnover. But you know, you're always on the move in basketball. Um, it definitely translates to football um, with the ball in the hands, just a different ball. Um, but you know, one hand passing and stuff. Um, you know, I think it translates definitely. Um, I mean. Or necessarily, you know, a lot, a lot of times in, in basketball, I like to go with my right hand. Um, and in football, um, you know, sometimes you flush, you know, to the left side and you got to turn across the body a little bit, which makes it a little um, different. But uh, most of the time, um, yeah, you're going right. And, um, I think when you're going around, out, roll around the clock to the right, it, uh, it definitely helps. Coach Longo was talking about watching you play basketball when he was recruiting you. How would you uh, self scout your, your basketball game when you're at Myers Park? Uh, no, I was just, you know, I was I was a, I was a solid high school player. Um, nothing um, crazy. I, I got I got I got my points here and there, but uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed high school basketball, and uh, it was a fun time. We had some good playoff runs. Uh, my last kind of game kind of ended with a sour taste in my mouth. We we lost at home in the first round pretty bad. Um, but I can shoot it a little bit, and I just try to pass it around. I like to have the ball in my hands. So um, yeah, were you more like a three or four, or like a uh, point, point forward, or yeah, yeah, like point forward, I'd say. Uh, I gave that rebound. Double, double, right? Sorry, did you average a double double? Yeah, I, I got in that rebound. Um, I feel like I was, you know, trying to do my best Luke impersonation, uh, trying to get some double doubles. <laughs> so, uh, no, yeah, I'd probably say, um, yeah, it's similar. Luke should probably shoot a little better than I did. Um, but I was also a little more athletic. So, and back back to Adam's question about throwing the run. What's the key to being to being sharp at that and really good at? Being accurate while moving and, and zipping it across your body, like I mean, obviously it comes naturally to you. But what do you think is the key to that? Physical, yeah, I physical. think um, you know besides repping with the guys that you're actually throwing to, uh, you know it's kind of tough because you may be you know going one way and they may be going the next. So just kind of um, not predicting the path, but just trying to put it out in front because a lot of times those in the run they're messed up with like a you know Aaron Ball or miss you know so actually is really key. Uh, so just you know because Longar says and it kind of. You know, you know, picture where you want it in practice, or whether we got a guy standing there, or um, you know, it's a real live rep, um, and just try to you know throw that spot. So I think you know, it's always important to kind of try to throw a spot um, and be really accurate um, in general, just sitting back there. But especially on the run, because you know things are going to be changing. You know, guys are going to be in your face, and uh, it's part of the run. You know, his defense is written by Coach Longo. What did he tell you about this offense and what it would look and feel like, and, and how does that? Because I've been born out in one ways. Yeah, um, you know, he always, you know, recruiting, he always, you know, told, told my parents and myself, um, it's kind of similar to, to, to the Kansas City Chiefs offense. You know, obviously they got a, you know, big time quarterback playing there who does a lot of stuff, um, you know, spectacular stuff, you know, way better than, you know, when we got here. But uh, overall, I think uh, just, you know, the way they use their guys, um, they got, you know, so many, so many different ways that they attack the defense. And, you know, same, same here, it makes it hard. Um, for people to game plan. Um, you know, Coach Everett, one of our QB was just saying, you know, he's got a defensive background and he was game plan us and pulling his hair out. So, uh, we're just finding ways. Um, Coach Long, I was preaching, you know, just, just take what defense gives us and exploit them um, in whatever way we can. So, uh, I think that's kind of what we're doing. I think it's um, working out pretty well. We just got to keep on the same track. What's Did those first two games against South Carolina and Miami when Sam was a true freshman and you were, you were a junior in high school? That year, did those resonate with you at the time you were committed to Alabama? Did those kind of open your eyes to what this offense could do and what this program could do? Oh, no doubt. Um, especially, you know, that's how I was in Charlotte. Um, so, obviously, you know, I wasn't, I didn't go to any games, um, any of those, but uh, obviously, I heard about it, was, was cheering for the heels and uh, was watching them, um, staying tuned. Um, even though committed to Alabama, you know, we watch all the games, especially knowing Sam. So, uh, and also that Clemson game, you know, seeing what they did there and keeping it close with them. With a chance um, to go and win, so. Can you give us a scouting report of UVA's defense? Yeah, UVA's defense. Um, you know, they mix up the fronts, they mix up coverages. Um, you know, they don't play as, uh, it's not the best D-line we're going to see, but they, you know, they're still stout. Um, we've seen some pretty pretty good D-line so far, um, and it's, it's pretty similar. Um, they got, you know, veterans again. 
Uh, the corner is a good player. Um, I think they got one transfer in the corner. Uh, number three is playing pretty well. Um, so, you know, they'll mix it up. Um, they'll go to mid, bare, or even. Um, so we um, we're just trying to play, find ways to run the ball and uh, still, like, like, like Coach Longo, we just take what they give us and uh, just try to game plan them up. And uh, still in the early process of some things, but I uh, thought we had a good practice today. What is mint and bear? Longo mentioned that yesterday. And yeah. I would um, like, you know, it's so, so it's just, uh, it's three down linemen, there'll be a zero nose, and in bear, there'll be uh, two, three techniques, and in mint, there'll be two four eyes. So four eyes, like, yeah. inside the tackle, and three techniques outside the guard. So it's just barely, literally, like, not even a yard away, but uh, just different placement with the um, defense bands. Gotcha. And back to what Lee said about your recruitment, I mean, kind of going to a little bit more, we asked Longo about it yesterday. Um, you saw UNC kind of winning with, with, with Coach Brown and, and what Sam was doing. Was there anything else about UNC that made you flip, um, other than obviously your family connections? Like, can you kind of go into that a little bit on the, on the recruitment, recruitment there? Um, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the big thing was just seeing Coach Brown come back. I think one of the first few weeks, you know, I was telling the report earlier, um, Coach Brown, Coach Black, came by Myers Park, um, like maybe a week or two after Coach Brown got hired. And they just came by to see me, and then, uh, you know, even with me being committed to Alabama, they kept recruiting me. Um, they made me a priority, and uh, didn't want to miss out on the home state. Uh, my brother Bo was applying here, he got in, so, you know, a lot of things kind of played into it. And uh, obviously my parents always wanted me to come here. Um, but uh, they tried to let me kind of enjoy the process, but, uh, you know, you know, my mom, you know, my mom and my dad, I'm a huge Bills fan, so it just kind of worked out to be kind of meant to be. Did you meet Michael Jordan on a recruiting visit? Yeah, I, I met Mike, uh, you know, MJ, you know, the GOAT. Um, I, think <laughs> basketball, was, I think it was a basketball game. Yeah, UVA, maybe, UVA home game. The other game was the Brown <coughs> brought us down, and that was pretty cool. Um, um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty surreal, just to kind of see the Carolina family, um, you know, in a, in a perspective. So, uh, I didn't really know what to say, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, what did he, what did he say to you? What did he say yeah, to you? I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> you know, I think he said something, um, Coach Brown. Uh, he just, we, kept, we took a picture. I didn't even say much. I said maybe big fan or something. So. Drake, uh, another road game. You know, road game's been tough for you all. Are yeah. you all becoming a, a good road team, you think? Say it again. Are, y'all, are you all becoming a good road team? You know, you with that on Yes, sir. Road. Yeah. Um, you know, because Brown just showed us today, all, all four of our home games have been, you know, close, um, you know, one score games. So uh, I think that really shows the kind of team that we've become. Um, you know, speaking out, we find out who, who we are on the road and uh, just try and translate that each week. Um, hopefully, you know, the goal is always to you know, not um, you know, blow the other team out, but you know, on the road is different. You know, at their place, you're staying in a different you know, hotel. Um, you got to go to their, you know, on the road trip. So uh, there's going to be a time probably um, on Saturday um, afternoon where we got to find ourselves and uh, you know, kind of uh, reel it back in. So uh, just, just trying to keep finding a way to win, and uh, that's all that matters. Um, you know, they got a you know, uh, good quarterback and they got some receivers, so uh, um, we're going to have our hands full. Drake, building off that, what Charlie said about the road games, I mean, you're right. I mean, they haven't been perfect. And some of them have been roller coasters, but you've been able to win all four of them. Like, just from the standpoint, when you look at 4 and other, is that a source of pride for you guys that, that you haven't lost on the road yet? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, anytime going in someone's place and then coming out with the win is huge. Um, you know, the guys can walk in your track, take over your trap. Um, I don't know if you're necessarily taking over anybody's trap because, you know, we're squeaking in there um, with some wins, but that's all that matters. <coughs> Find a way. Um, and uh, yeah, four. I think he, he, Coach Brown put some in the meeting today. Um, I think the first time or the last time we were five and zero on the road was maybe '97. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, it's been what 25 years since then. So uh, I think we got a chance to do some some pretty cool around here. And um, you know, just here we, are. we got to, you know come ready. It's, it's, it's you know every Saturday you see all the upsets and stuff. So uh, you know, and especially in the ACC, just. Uh, you know, it's any game Saturday. Any game Saturday. What, what was your perspective on the Heisman attention that Sam got last year? I mean, going into the year, some people had him as a Heisman favorite, him and mm-hmm. Spencer Rattler. Like, what? I mean, as you were, I mean, you were close with him and you no. saw how he handled things. What was just your, the perspective you got watching him deal with that attention or, or take on that attention? Um, no, I thought it was, you know, it was obviously, you know, a really cool experience. Um, obviously, you know, the player he was, uh, just seeing him, watching him play, being there, um, knowing the play and watching him do his thing um, was cool. Uh, but 
just the way he handled it. You know, he didn't, um, you know, act like he's the biggest thing in the world. Um, you know, he tried to always kind of, you know, shift it towards the team, and you know, nothing he's gonna win is um, not gonna happen without you no know, winning um, in general. So uh, I think it's also it put a lot, of, you know, any, anybody you know is hot in favor, you know, talking about preseason puts a lot of pressure, you um, know, on a college kid. Um, and he's still what he was still 20 years old last year. Um, turned, I think he turned 21 during the season, so it's you know, a lot of pressure, you know, when we're you know, at school. You know, with, the, with going into some some tough games, and you kind of leaned on as you know, supposed to be the Heisman. So maybe like I wouldn't say that the expectation where he didn't win it was like a letdown season, but it just kind of um, felt like you know, uh, and he did his, he did his part. And he he uh, gave it his all, and uh, you know, I respect him and, and uh, you know, enjoyed watching the way he did. Did you feel like it felt big for him, like just a big thing to have to deal with? Yeah, I would say it was a big thing. Um, you know, because he, he steps up in big time moments, so. Uh, I just think, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's kind of a, not a cloud over you, but it's like something that, you know, a lot of people just keep asking and uh, it just gets old when, when a lot of people start asking and, you know, you're just trying to worry about, you know, winning games and especially when the, you know, kind of the, the event is, you know, a long time down the road and, and nothing's, you know, certain, so. That's all right. I don't know if I answered it right. <laughs> <laughs>